listening to Richard Clifton and then he had gone back to his church in the afternoon and told local folk what Clifton had said in his sermon. As soon as he opened his mouth to say, Richard Clifton said he'd broken the law, he hadn't got a license. So of course, how, if you're deposed from your church, how can you then help it to reform? So a lot of these Puritans decided we're not signing up. After all, what's the best way to flavour a stew? Be one of the ingredients. Let's stay in the church like those Cold War sleeper spies, you know, where you just keep your head down, pretend to conform, and then change the church by stealth. Or when the opportunity arose, they could rise up together. If they left the church, they couldn't do that. But a very small core, including Richard Clifton, including a young John Robinson at Norwich, they're amongst those who will not sign up. They make this incredible stand when they agree, yes, the king has sovereignty over our bodies. Mm. That's right, we accept that. But the king will never have sovereignty over our consciences and our hearts and our souls. And so they would not conform. And they formally separated away from the Church of England. Mm. And once they'd done that, I'm afraid that their time here in England was going to be very short. They would be rounded up if they stayed. And yes, it may have led to execution for ringleaders who wouldn't conform. So we'll stop the story there for the moment, yeah? And have a look at the church. Okay. Has that made things a little bit clearer? Yeah, thank you.